Well, last Sunday or the Sunday before that, you were down at the Javits Center, New York Comic Con. Yes, Comic Con. <laughs> very, very interesting time. I can go there and be me, you know, because yeah. I'm, I'm a nerd at heart. So it's a, it's a place that I can go and be comfortable. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You would assume Grizz is going there to sign autographs, do an autograph booth or something, but you're there as a legitimate fan of sci-fi. And a salesman. Yeah. And a salesman. Yeah, I have a booth there. Yeah. Uh, I have a layer booth there. I also own a, a comic book store in Mars Park, so you guys can come out and check me out. It's not in the bad part of the Bronx, so you know, <laughs> you, know you can come out and park your car. It'll be there when you come out my store. <laughs> There'll be some like Wolverine slash marks in your tires. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Grace, I collected comic books as a kid, mm -hmm. but I collected them for the value. I didn't read them. Okay. What do you make of someone like me? Am I just the biggest <laughs> asshole in the world? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. There are people out there that. like that, though, right? Yeah, yeah, but a lot of times people who uh, who don't read them and just collect them for the money, they really don't have anything quality. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah. I, they don't have that quality. market. <laughs> wow, that that thing tanked pretty bad, huh? Yeah, yeah. Worse than Beanie Babies, I think. Yeah, yeah. I have hundreds, maybe thousands of comic books at home, worthless. Yeah, worthless. Yeah. Will you take them off my hands for something? Can no, we sir. Something out? Nothing. No. No, sir. Not even no. I've got like a Spawn number one. That's good, right? No. Nah, nah, nah. I've got like, you know, Amazing Spider-Man 300. That was supposed to be a special issue. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Uh-uh. Even, even the comic book that everybody collected when Superman died. Yeah, that's the, yeah. No. No? <laughs> no. And like Bane and Batman breaking his back? Got yeah, that. they put, uh, I think they put in rotation like 500 copies. So everybody has one. <laughs> Everybody has one. But you're into it. I mean, you read the books and you're, you're, you're that yeah, kind of fan. Yeah, yeah, I read the books. Um, I'm reading Walking Dead now. Um, and you're watching it. You're watching the no, show. No, no, I'm reading. Oh, you're reading it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm catching up on that. Uh, TV wise, what am I watching now? I'm watching Blacklist. I am oh, watching. Uh, what else am I watching? I am watching Chicago Fire. I am watching Revolution. Revolution. Uh, so you're an NBC guy. <laughs> no. No, no. Not, yeah. not, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> um, and I'm uh, so depressed. And in, in, uh, Agent Shield was, uh, ugh. yeah, big letdown. Yeah, big, big letdown. letdown. Waste of time. My roommate was watching that today. Uh, Seems pretty corny. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. Yeah, second season not happening. <laughs> no. Well, geez, we gotta turn this thing into like the comic book club or something. We gotta. Yeah, let's do it. Grizz, man, you've been very busy since 30 Rock. I mean, we, you've done a lot of pilots and, and working yeah. on your own uh, film stuff. Film. Uh, I did a, a few commercials. I did uh, did about maybe four or five films. I did pretty well in the film festivals. Yeah. Sorry I didn't get to you guys yet, uh, but uh, it didn't get green lit straight off the, the back. So, you know, I have to do this, run the, the Chitlin circuit. You got to go through all the, the film festival before somebody picks it up and pushes yeah. it over, over yeah. the, uh, the side. You've also been doing some web series. I want to show a clip. You might have to get out of the way for a little bit so people can see. I'm in the way of But this my is a clip, clip you did with my damn channel with Mark Malkoff. Can you guys see? Can you see that? <laughs> let's should let's I, pop this I thing on. This is some more. <laughs> well, in New York City have so easy. I agree, Grizz. That is why the awesome Grizz Chapman is going to help me experience what it's like to be a baby in New York City. My pleasure. Let's do it. Chris Chapman and Mark Malkoff carrying him around the city. That's good stuff. Chris, man, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Man, I'm excited so. to see what you got coming next, and we'll see you at the 30 Rock Con whenever yeah. that happens. Uh, probably 10 years. Or 10 years, yeah. When Tina Fey gets some time. Yeah. Chris Chapman, <laughs> Thanks, 30 Rock. Thank you so much. Chris Chapman,